next on Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. No way. There's no way I'm going in and saving Malcolm from this mega virus monster. He's a jerk. And if Mrs. Starkey got zapped by some digital love potion and wants Malcolm to smooch with her, that's his problem, not mine. Stay back. So why is it all my buddies are mad at me? Weird, huh? Definitely weird. The evil Kilo Khan lives inside computer circuits. With the help of Malcolm Frink, he creates megavirus monsters to attack electronic systems. Meanwhile, a freak accident turns Sam Collins into Servo. His friends join forces in their samurized attack vehicles. Together, they transform into the Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. Superhuman Samurai. They're gonna rip it up. A hero always makes the cut. Superhuman samurai. Superhuman samurai. Done it, worn it, divorced it. Oh, 31 things to do with your wedding dress the day after the wedding. Huh, I don't see meatloaf here anywhere. I must be more on the cutting edge than I thought. <laughs> ah, spring is in the air and young students' minds turn to love. Well. So, you really think you can create life, Sid? Well, these beakers had the ingredients of the original primate soup. Heavy molecular structures of basic DNA and amino acids. With the right spark, maybe, just maybe, I can recreate what happened billions of years ago and bring into being a simple cellular proto-organism. Wow. You're so smart, Sid. And pretty, too. Tanker, this is biology. I know. Yeah, I mentioned you have really pretty eyes. And speaking of biology. You have, Sam. And a cute nose. You did, Sam. I covered everything. Why don't you go out with me Friday? I already told you. It's Yoli Pratchett's surprise birthday party, and I promised her mom I'd help her set up and decorate. But I'm free Saturday. Saturday. Mmm, Saturday. You know, I may have an opening between croquet class and saving the world from megavirus monsters. Oh, Sam, you're such a kidder. True. I wouldn't be caught dead playing croquet. This is it. The moment of discovery. Okay, I just need to turn the voltage up to full power, but only for a sec. We'll give her the juice, Sid. Uh-oh. The dial's stuck. Hey, everybody down! That's odd. Should have exploded. <coughs> I don't think we're in Kansas anymore, Toto. It worked! A simple cellular proto organism. Sort of. Great, Sid. You created a Franken amp. I am. Oh, are you okay? Well, if you don't count the fact that I misplaced my spleen at breakfast, I'm great. Yoli, are you all ready for cheerleading practice this afternoon? Yep, my pom-poms are all a flutter. Are you gonna come watch? With bells on, I can't untie them. It's so my mom doesn't lose me in malls. Why, no one told me that the circus was in town. This must be the clown. Hi, Malcolm. Oh, Collins, others. Hello, Jennifer. Is 7 o'clock all right to pick you up Friday? Um, sure, Malcolm. Can we talk about this later? Hey, Jennifer, I'm later, later, Sam. Fine. No, don't take it so hard, Sam. I'm sure there'll be other nights for you. I hope. Hey, Malcolm, I, I trust Jennifer completely. Mm. I mean, what she has on Friday night doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know what I mean, OK, Malcolm? Mm. So I've heard, Sam. So I've heard. No, 
me to let you in on a little secret, okay, Sam? She asked me. Malcolm! <laughs> my, 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 feeling hot-headed today, Collins. Don't worry, you'll cool off by Friday. <laughs> let me go, Hank. I gotta get to class. Sam, wait, Sam! It was wonderful. Collins was furious. See this? It's the key to Jennifer's heart. How quaint. A six-sided container that emits low-resolution wave files when accessed. It's a music box, you electronic imbecile. And do you see this? Interesting. A very powerful virus that holds digital sway over fleckling emotions. You have been busier than I had calculated. I shall bring it to life and use it for world domination. No, you shall bring it to life and send it into the battery-operated music maker in the box, where the first person who opens the box, Jennifer, will fall madly in love with the first person she sees, me, Malcolm. Got it? Another trivial use of a potent tool of destruction. Can you never think in larger terms? Just do it. And quit whining all the time. No. What? No. Uh, but we have a deal. Which you keep ignoring. You are to help me rule the human world. You're supposed to bring my viruses to life and do what I say. That is not the exact wording of our pact. I don't care what the wording is. Bring my virus to life and send it into this box, or I'll flush your memory cache and reload it with, with random numbers. You cannot. Try me. Very well. I will bring your virus to life. Perfect. The next person who opens this box is in for a very big surprise. <laughs> and you, Meat Thing, are in for an even bigger one. <laughs> we'll be right back after these messages. And now back to Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. Just, just talk to her, Sammy. I'm sure Jennifer has a good reason for going out with Malcolm on Friday night. A good reason that includes lying to me? She didn't lie exactly. Right. She just didn't tell the truth. Ow. <sighs> she, she's going out with Malcolm. She didn't want me to know. I don't even care anymore. She can hang out with that shoe cushion if she wants to. I hope she's happy. Oh, you don't really mean that. Oh. No, you're right. I hope she's very unhappy. Completely unhappy. Sam? Sam. Oh, Jennifer! Uh, I've been waiting for you. Uh, look, Malcolm, I really need to talk to you. No, this will only take a second. Here. Do you think that... Do you think that Yoli would like this for a gift? Yeah. Great. See, so he's giving her a present. Ow. Oh, there must be some kind of trick to this. Just open it real quick. Fine. Great, Malcolm. I'm sure she'll No, it. but it plays a tune. Open it again. I'm not going to stay here and watch this. Uh, look, buddy. Sam, don't go. Open it again! Uh, here, okay? Sam! It should have worked. It should have worked. There's a virus in here. What happened? Ow! Mmm. Not bad. Mm. Stupid thing. Nice music box. You like it? It's yours. Hey, Frank. Thanks. Mm. 
Malcolm, cara mia, my little artichoke heart. No, this can't be happening. It's supposed to be Jennifer, not her. Oh, sweet spaghetti strainer. We can make beautiful moussaka together. I just can't get him to talk to her. He's hurt, Hanker. Jennifer's gonna go out with Malcolm. But that doesn't seem right. Sam and Jennifer haven't been fighting or anything. They're the perfect couple. Love is a weird thing. You can't calculate it or define it or program it by any scale I know. I've tried. I guess you're right. But he's really taken it hard, Sid. He doesn't want to hang out. He doesn't want to jam with the band. It's like he's given up. He probably just needs some time. Give it to him. Maybe his friend. He probably needs that more than anything. Hey, Sam. What's up? Sam. Oh, hi. I, I didn't see you. Yeah, it could happen to anyone. Um, so, uh, you want to check around the football this afternoon or go to a movie tonight or something? No, nah, I'd, I'd just rather sit in my room and stare at the walls. Want some company? I have looked at many a wall. I'm an expert wall looker, I don't you know. Thanks, guys. You know, I know what you're trying to do. It's OK. I just want to be by myself. Maybe in a couple days? Mm. Cheers, Sam. Whatever you want. Just know that we care, and we're there for if you need us. Out of my way! Get out of my way! Move! Oh. Oh. Open! Open! Oh. Has anyone seen my little Malcolm -y, Welcome -y? Yeah, actually, he's right. A gym class. I just saw him a couple minutes ago in the locker room. In the locker room? Isn't that just like him trying to get buff for me? Oh, I think I'll surprise him. Maybe watch him do a sit up or two. Oh, Malcolm, my little stud muffin pan. Let's arm wrestle sushi roll. Best two out of three broken bones. Oh. Hey, hey, Sydney, why'd you tell her that Zero was in the locker room? He's wearing his stupid locker. Hey, Frank, the double date's gone. <sighs> Seems like all the girls like you now, Malcolm. Even Sid sticks up for you. It's my animal magnetism. Maybe it's your animal stink. You know, I'm out of here. I don't know how you guys can stand it. What was that all about? Is Sam mad at me or oh, something? Don't act stupider than you are, Frank. You know what? I'd bust you one if I thought it'd help. Tanker! What's going on, Malcolm? Just Jennifer and I going out on You know Friday. that's not what I'm talking about. Mrs. Starkey's acting weird. Why is she running after you? Well, uh, I don't know. One moment she's her usual obnoxious, gruff self, and, and the next she's this mushy, mushy obnoxious self. <laughs> weird, huh? Definitely. More Superhuman Samurai after this. And now back to Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. Tank. Something is definitely wrong with Mrs. Starkey. She has Malcolm cornered at the top of a flagpole, throwing Swedish meatballs at him, begging for her, her little cheese grater to come down and stew prunes with her. Ugh. I don't even know what that means, but it's a terribly frightening thought. Want some? Thanks. Buttered? Maybe she slipped a gear or something. No, thanks. Something is totally wrong. I just wish I knew what it was. Hey, Malcolm left his music box. I thought he gave it to Jennifer. Then she left her music box. Have you guys seen Sam around? No, Jennifer, and he's been pretty down lately. Are you sure you want to bother him? I've got to talk to him. I've just got to. Uh, you forgot your music box. Not her music box. It's mine. My little pork chop and applesauce gave it to me. It was the first time I knew that he was the one I wanted to filet mignon with for the rest of my natural day. Here! Hey! Oh! Here? Whoa! 
I just saw Geraldo Rivera's life flash before my eyes. There you are, my little broccoli boy. Get away from me! Wait, wait. I have front row seats at the Yam and Squash Dinner Dance. This year's theme is Zucchini Through the Ages. You'll love it. Weird. Weird. I don't know. I actually like zucchini. Definitely, Definitely weird. weird. And I think this little music box has something to do with it. Not a chance. I'm not doing it. But Sam, would you look? The virus is in the box. That's why Mrs. Starkey is acting so bizarre. Sam, the virus is messing with her neural synapses, causing her to feel artificial, electronically induced emotions. It's making her think she's in love with Malcolm. I don't know who put the virus in the music box, but we have to stop it. You have to go in there. I said no. But Sam! Look, Sam, I think Frank is a complete scuzz bucket, but I wouldn't wish Mrs. Starkey my worst enemy. I would. Look, you guys don't understand, do you? He took Jennifer away from me and he treats him like trash. I've always tried to be nice to him and he doesn't sneer at me. Why should I help him? Why? Because you're the only one who can. I can't be Servo. Sid can't be Servo. Tanker can't be Servo. But you can. You're the only one who can. So what? It's not like his life is threatened. I wish it were. No. But can you make that decision? Can you decide which person is more deserving of being helped and which isn't? Is Sid more deserving than me? Is Tanker more than Elizabeth? That's not the same. You have to right wrongs for everybody, equally. It's your duty, it's your destiny. Malcolm may not be nice, but he's in trouble. You have to help him, and Miss Starkey too. He sold Jennifer. Yeah. He's obnoxious. Definitely. But I'm Servo. I have to go in. All right. Thanks, Sam. So, how did you suddenly get so smart? Well, Grasshopper, once you can touch your nose with your tongue, anything in the universe is possible. Right. Well, I don't like this, but... You ready? Ready. Okay. Let's summarize, guys! <sighs> Stay back. I'll scream. But Marza Penlips, we could make beautiful strudel together. Hey, what's going on? Let go of me, Frank. I'll dice you into little tiny pieces and add you to tomorrow's goulash. I know I'm good looking. But you're a little young for me, Bucky. 
Come back in 10 years, we'll talk about it. The things I do because it's right. More superhuman samurai cyber squad after this. And now, back to our show. That was great. The way you just knocked that horn off. Oh, wish I could have done that. Maybe next time, Tank. You did the right thing, Sam. Yeah, I know. Just, why don't I feel very happy about it? Well, as Kierkegaard once said, time and healing are metaphysical extrusions of simple belief. Uh, how about uh, what Neil Young said? Only love can break your heart? Uh, I'll be fine. I just uh, need a little distance. Sam? Sam Collins, you stay right there. Oh, hi, Jen. You've been hiding from me today. No. I just thought you didn't want to see me. Well, you know, with Malcolm, Friday, and... <sighs> That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Malcolm and I aren't going on a date. I just asked him as a favor to help me with Yoli's party. You know how good he is with art. And that's why I couldn't say anything the other day. I didn't want to spoil the surprise. Why didn't you ask me to help? <laughs> because when I'm with you, all I can think about is being with you. And we'd never get any decorating done. Jeez, I guess I'm pretty silly, huh? Yeah, it's OK. I guess I'll keep you around anyway. <laughs> hey, Malcolm, I heard Mrs. Starkey's looking for you. What? Yeah. Just for one, buddy. <laughs> You see? This is all your fault, you sorry excuse for a short circuit. You were in need of a lesson, meat thing. And I was the perfect teacher. <laughs> I'll never use you again. Never. Oh, yes, you will, meat thing. <laughs> yes, you will. <laughs> Thank you.